25-year-old Jelani Day was studying for his master's degree in speech pathology. He had a friend when he was younger who had some problems with speech, and he really wanted to do what he could to help people. That's the kind of person that he was. He was last seen on August 24, 2001. He was leaving a dispensary in Bloomington, Illinois on Veterans Parkway. On August 25th, when he didn't make it to his classes and he could not be reached by telephone, his family reported him missing. A couple days later, his wallet and car were found. His white Chrysler 300 was found about 60 miles north of Bloomington in a city called Peru. The clothes that Jelani had been wearing in the video from the last time he was seen at the dispensary were in the vehicle. A citizen said that he found Jelani's wallet on the street, that he believed that it had been dropped by a man wearing uh, red. On September 4th, an unidentified body was found. In Peru, um, Jelani's student ID was reported to have been found not far from the body, but uh, the body was unidentified as of September 4th when it was found. One month after Jelani went missing, his mother gets the call that every mother dreads. DNA and dental records confirmed that the remains that were found by the Illinois River are Jelani. The Bloomington Police public information official is John Furman. He confirmed that the case was suspicious due to the location of the vehicle. Since that time, details from the autopsy have trickled out. If you are sensitive at all or do not want to hear the horrific details of this case, I'm going to ask you to take a break for a little bit, hydrate, hit the restroom. You can come back and join us in just a few. I apologize. I, I don't want to talk about the details, but I think it's important for the public to know what they're dealing with and why it's so important that Jelani's case be solved right away. So go ahead and take a break and meet us back here in just a little bit. So since the discovery of the body, details from the autopsy have been leaked um, and some of it is speculation. And at this point, I'm, I'm not 100% sure where the line, where the hard line between actual detail, leaked detail and speculation is. I'm just going to give you the information that I have available at this time. And um, it is that when... Jelani's body was found. He was partially filleted before he went into the river. Organs, including the brain, liver, and spleen were missing and or liquefied. His teeth appeared to have been deliberately removed and his bottom jaw was sawed. A second autopsy requested by the family revealed that his genitalia had been horribly mutilated as well. It's important for every family to receive justice. It really is. And particularly in this case, the crime is so horrific. Jelani had such a bright future and loved his mother. Loved and she loved him. And that's not that's not fair. It's it's not fair to deprive her of justice. It's not fair to deprive him of justice. Um, but besides that, there is a horrific killer on the loose. That some, somebody killed him. Somebody murdered him heartlessly. He, he needs justice. Everybody needs justice. And besides that, there's a really scary murderer walking the streets in Peru or that area. So, Please be safe. Please report anything that you saw to the Bloomington Police Department. And please hope that Jelani gets justice. Thank you.